Tijuana is 9.6 miles from that tip of Point Loma. Actually, see Tabletop Rock, which Tabletop Mountain, which is that flat mountainside behind Tijuana there. It's the first time I've seen it visible all year. Also, if you follow Tijuana inland, eventually you'll come to a set of white high-rise buildings just to the left of It's the Hotel Del Coronado, the most iconic structure in all of San Diego. electricity for the hotel came back and put the switch when it was completed. It was the first commercial structure in the world to feature electricity. That dropped to over 140 Hollywood movies. Also has one of the top rated beaches in our country. If you have not gotten a chance to visit the Hotel Del Coronado, I cannot recommend it enough. There is some beautiful Victorian architecture, some wonderful shopping, and some great restaurants at the Hotel Del. Travels here is the where Navy warships stop to either load or the aircraft pass. They are put back into service. If they fail the suspension, they're immediately scrapped. Now those two large helicopters are both C-853 Super Sea Stallions. Those are operated by the U.S. Marine Corps and are one of the largest types of helicopters and used by any branch of the U.S. military. Behind those Super Sea Stallions are a number of F-A-18 Super Hornets, the same type of aircraft that was featured in the hit movie Top Gun Maverick. The, those Super Hornets are twin engine, supersonic, all-weather, heavier capable, multi-role combat jet. They're behind us both a fighter and attack aircraft, and let's give them that F-8 designation. They're able to carry a wide variety of bombs and missiles, as well as heavy guns. Those Super Hornets have a top speed of 1,190 miles per hour. of the Top Gun franchise, you might recall both movies featured a scene of Tom Cruise racing his motorcycle down a runway. Some of those scenes were built on this runway right here. This is the east-west runway on North Island. North Island actually has a second runway that intersects this one, that's the north-south runway. This gets around the corner a couple minutes ahead. Now when I speak about North Island, I'm actually referring to a very specific Part of Coronado. The angular sign is an early version of a Seahawk helicopter. Behind that yellow hanger is an EKA 3B Sky Warrior. That Sky Warrior is a strategic bomber that was designed to take off and land from those midway class of aircraft carriers. Like we have a newer version of that Seahawk helicopter coming in for a landing there at North Island. Also going to start to notice a number of these concrete structures shutting up out of the water. These are what we call dolphins and they are the remnants of the original Navy here, here in San Diego. This is the beginning of the area where the Navy used to dock all of their assets, including the first aircraft carrier, CV number one, the USS Langley. Now the Langley started out as a coal carrying vessel. The Navy converted it into an aircraft carrier by attaching wooden planks to the top of it. They used it as a test case for the U.S. aircraft carrier program. In fact, many of the techniques and technologies that were developed aboard the USS Langley right here in San Diego are still in use on the Nimitz class aircraft carriers of today. Parked in front of the tan hangar to the left of the air traffic control tower on North Island are a number of B-22 Osprey vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. 
fascinating aircraft, each one is equipped with two sets of propellers, one mounted on each wing. Those propellers are able to rotate from a vertical to a horizontal position. Now, when set in the vertical position, like the one right there, right off our starboard beam, that aircraft can take off and land straight up and down, just like a helicopter. The military has a different version of the same helicopter built off the same Sikorsky airframe. For instance, the Army has the Black Hawk, the Coast Guard has the Jayhawk, Air Force calls theirs the Payhawk. All of them are twin turboshaft engine multi-mission helicopters. Each branch uses theirs slightly differently and in various different roles. So you ask, what is the difference between a Seahawk helicopter and all the other branches' versions? Well, in addition to sharing a name with the best football team in the NFL, the Seahawk helicopters also have hinges on their rotors and tail sections. This allows them to be folded up so that more of them can be fit onto the carrier vessel. In fact, you can see one of those Seahawks with its tail section folded up. It's about four from the end on the row of helicopters closest to us. This one that is moving is about to go right in front of it. It's just behind that one that's moving right now. Two half film here date back to the days of the Navy seaplane program. Even though the Navy no longer has that seaplane program because of their iconic look and style, these two half film hangers have been declared national landmarks. So they will continue to lend their charm to him of the a billion dollars to construct, but by doing so, the return on that investment is about three billion dollars per year to the city of San Diego. That's because with the construction of Juliet Pier, San Diego was able to become the home port to three of the 11 Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. Just off our starboard bow, we have CBN number 72. That is the Abraham Lincoln. Currently out at sea is CBN number 70, the Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah. Or 70 is the Carl Vincent, and number 71 is the Theodore Roosevelt. Now all of these Nimitz class aircraft carriers have a service life of 50 years and a unit cost of $4.5 billion. Each one weighs over 100,000 tons, which if you do the math, is over 220 million pounds. They are 250. Well, the viewers of the series series, what is that like right in the middle of the car, there is the original ticket booth for the, uh, you purchase your ticket for the ride to San Diego. A lot of history here, and uh, the video up the head of the on the right hand side is not as very passenger only series, so you can see that it's going to be very loud.